First, let's go over how alcohol and marijuana affect driving. Alcohol is not digested like food. It's absorbed directly into the bloodstream and so reaches the brain very quickly. It tends to cause blurred vision, impaired coordination, decreased hearing, impaired judgment, etc. As for marijuana, its effects can be felt within minutes, especially when smoked. When a person is high, it significantly impairs judgment, motor coordination, and reaction time. It's even worse when you add alcohol to the mix. Alcohol increases the effects of THC, and so can worsen the symptoms I just mentioned. With the number of cars and bikes on the road and people texting or talking on their phones, driving requires all your attention, even when sober. It's important to note that most people don't leave their house deciding they will drive while drunk or high, but as soon as you start drinking or smoking pot, it affects your judgment. It becomes harder to evaluate the state you're in and make smart decisions. Avoiding impaired driving starts before you even step out of the house. First, make a plan. Assign a designated driver. You can rotate within your group of friends every time so that everyone can have fun. If you don't have a designated driver, get someone to drop you off, take a cab, get an Uber, or use public transportation to get there and back. Depending on the situation, if you must drive somewhere further away, you can plan where to stay for the night. Once you're out, there are different ways to ensure your safety and the safety of your friends. If you have a personal breathalyzer, you can use it before getting in your car. There are also online BAC calculators to help you figure out if you drank too much. Remember that your BAC will continue to rise after you stop drinking. But just because your BAC is within the legal limit doesn't mean you're fit to drive. Alcohol will affect people differently depending on their metabolism, if they're hungry, tired, etc. Ideally, you shouldn't drive at all if you've been drinking. Remember that it's okay to refuse a drink. It's sometimes taboo to refuse alcohol. However, if you know you'll have to drive, refusing that additional drink, or any for that matter, is okay. If you do drink, make sure to eat plenty of food and drink water to reduce the effects of alcohol. At the end of the night, if you're wondering whether you've consumed too much to drive, you probably have. Don't get in a car with someone who's been drinking. The best thing to do would be to keep them from driving entirely. This can be done by hiding their keys, getting them a cab, etc. They might not be happy with you, but you could be saving their life and the lives of others. You can also ask an employee, like the bartender, for help if needed. When it comes to marijuana, under no circumstances should you drive while under its effects.